fucking Catalina wine mixer. It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. No, it's the South Florida drone me in Sebastian, Florida. And I'm gonna take you with me. Come on. back already hurts I've been on the road for about an hour and 30 minutes now and uh, just jumped off the main strip of I-4 still got what 79 79 miles to go here and I got an hour and basically 34 minutes in the car but I'm gonna stop run inside this 7-eleven real quick <sighs> grab some stuff to keep me alert that's <laughs> some kind of energy drink probably and then back at it again <laughs> yeah well, this is fun. I put avoid tolls, and now it's taking me through like two towns already. <laughs> Out of my way, I think, a little bit. I, maybe I should have just stuck it. Maybe I should have just stuck it. Let it do its thing uh, and hit some tolls on the way here. I just wanted to see, because last time I made this trip to Jim's house, uh, it was a pretty straight shot. This avoiding toll thing has really kind of taken me out of my way, interestingly enough. Now, not by much. I'm, I got 69 miles to go, but what's interesting is I have an hour and 17 minutes, and there's not much traffic, so I'm wondering how many more towns and cities it's going to take me through. Now, out of curiosity, I'm going to let it run its course just to see what happens, but I'm just saying. Okay, update. <laughs> it's still got me driving through towns. This is interesting. It's, it's feet, turn right onto West Emmett Street. really taking me out of my way here. This is really interesting how far this is actually taking me. And I just hit a gnarly pothole in the road. I hit it so hard and it was so deep that I think I actually wrecked my lower or upper ball joint on my right tire. So this could be a very interesting drone meet here. I may end up uh, having to stop at an auto parts store in the morning. I'm kind of hoping the ball joint holds up, uh, but I can hear it. It's It sounds squeaky. It's very bad. So when I hit and bumps, it's definitely, right West Street. it's definitely clunking away. So that'll be fun. Maybe I'll have to pick up a lower ball joint and uh, do it on the spot tomorrow while we're flying. Like I, I got all my tools. They're always under my seat just in case I need to replace something on the side of the road. Now if I have to... For three okay, shut up, GPS. Jeez, oh, Pete. If I have to replace my upper ball joint, well, that's a little different. Or, I'm sorry, lower ball joint, that's a little different. I'm going to have to press it. But if it's the upper ball joint, which I'm kind of hoping it is, that's a really simple repair. So, yeah. Hopefully that's not the case. But, it is what it is. You expect this kind of stuff when you make trips. Ooh, that's a good size bump. Well, not really. That's oh yes, it is. Okay. Ah, that was very deceiving. <laughs> oh yeah, you can definitely hear that right ball joint squeaking away. So I'm gonna have to inspect my ball joint in the morning. Hopefully uh, that ball joint doesn't snap on the way, and then my tire folds. That'll be really crappy. Luckily, I'm in a town. I could just walk down and get parts, figure out how to get this thing off the road, and then replace the part. But that's the fun of trips, man. Take the freaking adventure. Dude, this really has me going through towns and cities. Do you guys see this? This is craziness. Crazy. 
Dude, look how dark it is. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I'm on a very dark road right now. All right, so I called Carlos, told him about my ball joint thing. This is fun. This is fun. I'm, you know, tomorrow, I'm going to inspect the ball joint in the morning, see what it looks like. Oh, there's Carlos calling right now. Carlos! All right, let me take this. Woo, buddy, it's back to raining again. Man, can't seem to get away from this rain. Oh, it's starting to slow down. Maybe I finally beat it. Nah, I'm still hearing some drops on the window. I'm cruising now, man. Shit, got me back on the road. I got 30 minutes to go. I got 30 miles. I'm gonna go a mile a minute here, if possible. We're gonna do our darndest. We're gonna do our darndest, baby. Yeah. Oh my God, that was a good drive. Well, I'm meeting Ed and Mike, night train. Oh fuck, that's rough. As you can see, I made it to the rest stop. This is where we're meeting up. This is in between Mel Palm Bay, Melbourne, and all the other stuff going on. So I just arrived at the rest stop I'll be staying at for the night. And I think Night Train's going to be picking up Ed at the top end of Florida about 1 a.m. So Ed and Mike probably aren't going to make it to this parking spot right here until most likely 4 a.m. or so. So it's pretty noisy i'm debating whether i'm gonna put up my tent or just kick my seat back and pass out in the truck for now uh i didn't realize normally rest areas are a lot more off the highway this one is like right off the highway and they don't allow you to go park back here because that's all truck parking so I'm not even gonna bother going that route but i am probably gonna eat some food here real quick because i'm hungry and uh i'm gonna wait on these guys to get here so like I said, I think I'll eat something real quick, catch some Z's, probably go in and use the restroom, see if they got a coffee vending machine, whatever. I got a vitamin water. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling here. I'm not exactly starving, but I also didn't eat much all day either. So I'm at the rest area in between everything. This was the first night. This is what we decided. So I'm here and I'll see you guys in the morning.